Happy Thursday. Freedom. The power to act or to think or to do as one wants without hindrance. The absence of subjugation. Now, I, I love the, I, I just, everything starts with the individual. And what do we, when we, when, when I think about that projected upon myself, Am I freedom? Am I free to do as I think and I want? Not from the exterior world onto me, but from me within me. And so, like the bondage of self, am I free from the bondage of self? My own thinking, what do I want? Do I want it? Is it something that I've inherited? We inherit so much that we can't see touch or understand until we wake up to the fact that, oh wait, I didn't want that kind of car. That's the kind of car my father wanted or that's the car that I felt safe in then and I don't like now. All of that stuff is what we've been inherited. In addition to decades and centuries before that, beliefs A lot of self-examination needs to go on to determine whether I'm free. Am I free from my thoughts, from my thinking? Am I governed by my emotions and solely by my emotions? Do I react to everything emotionally or with anger or any number of things? My fear. Am I free of that? And when I look at that, how do I treat this? How do I treat me? It's very, and, and a lot of that stuff from myself is ingrained, the thinking. How do I treat myself? What do I think about myself? When I'm by myself, how do I talk to myself? How do I think about myself when I'm by myself? Is it hijacked? hijacked into a narrative that's judgmental, angry, and bitter, or is it compassionate, loving, and nurturing? I've had to work towards the compassion, the loving, the nurturing, because the drill sergeant, judgmental prick governed me for a very long time. And once I, and I, and at times I fall back into that. And that's how I reacted when I was afraid or angry, frightened or angry to the world. And that is sometimes how I still react when I'm afraid and angry towards the world. But if I can Am I, am I free of that old narrative? Am I free of that old thinking? And when I can get free of that and embrace what I know to be for myself, a more congruent, I guess, frequency of love and tolerance and compassion, which feels better, it's so much easier. It's, it flows better. I mean, anger and rage and self-righteousness feels good, but it's, it, it feels good on the surface, but not in my heart. It's divisive, separatist. Compassion and love flows from my heart and feels way better. It's intoxicating as opposed to surface like surface. The anger feels righteous and angry and the love and the compassion feels bright. So if I'm free from within me, then what I take to the world can change 
what I can take to each experience I have, good, bad, or indifferent from my own judgment, free of judgment. Every situation, whether it's tragic or beautiful, whether I get what I want, or what I think I deserve, or I don't, I can bring that freedom to that. The name calling and the this and the that, you can, you get to discern what you think is best for yourself and others, but bring compassion and love to every situation and it might be more readily accepted or it may be just bitterly resisted. That's all right. That's what I think is amazing about this idea of unconditional. Let it be bitter, bitterly resisted and unconditionally bring it to that. It's so challenging. None of that's easy. This is not easy. I don't think it's easy. It's, I, I wrestle and battle this stuff within myself every day. Though there's never a dull day. And some days are harder than others and some I'm in this flow. But I, And my instinct is to just want to be over it. I want to graduate all this stuff and, and be free, totally free. But I don't, that's not my story. I get to look at this stuff every day and stay awake. While, you know, parts of society and people will tell you, just take this, drink that, and you won't feel anything. I don't want to do that anymore. The good news is it's an inside job. The bad news is it's an inside job. Much love.